Well, in terms of a pro sports atmosphere, I cannot think of anything bigger. This place is deafening as Conor McGregor makes his latest walk to the octagon. Every time McGregor walks to the octagon, John, it feels like the Super Bowl. I can imagine that's the only thing that matches the energy inside an arena when the notorious one hits the curtain. People love this guy. People love this guy because of his ability, though. They love the fact that he can go out there and put a person out with one left hand. They love the fact that he has shown an ability to compete at the top of the sport for a really long time. And they also love the fact that he does not apologize for being him. He is Conor McGregor. You're going to love him or you're going to hate him, but he won't change. And many have wondered aloud as to whether or not he would be back competing in the UFC, but in terms of scratching his competitive itch, there's only one proven ground in the world on which he can do it. It is the Octagon. Great to see Conor McGregor back tonight. Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Khabib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. You will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbulla get in there between rounds. Little guy's <laughs> got a lot to say. <laughs> lightweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC. Champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. All right, so here we go, round one, Habib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor. Got to think Conor's going to switch some things up for the rematch tonight. Well, he has to, and the first thing he has to do is switch the approach to the fight. First fight, he said he was very defense-minded. Now he needs to go out and fight as Conor McGregor does. Take the pace to Habib, but just be ready to defend those takedowns. Too easy. Habib Nurmagomedov gets the early takedown. Opposition knew it was coming, unable to stop it as usual. Well, he'll he set up a beautiful submission. Oh, he's got the Kamura locked in. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Nurmagomedov's in half guard. But at least staying busy on the bottom. 
Khabib's back in half guard. Massive shot from the top. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Takes his back. Win this scramble. Win this scramble. Nice shot there by the champ. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, great ground shot there, and that one opened him up. Let's go! Get him off you! Get him off! Setting up a submission. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. with all that pressure starting to get tight. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Under three minutes to go in round one. Nermako <laughs> Madoff right back to the full mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Well, ground and pound 101, and now you start to see some swelling up here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pack to this guy. This guy's trying to land, he's trying to land effective strikes. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, McGregor's in half court. Bleeding from his cheek now. Making all these shots count. Print the shirts, ground and pound. There it is, now he's going to mount. Setting up for an arm lock now. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Khabib's right back to the full mount here. Well, the striking clinic continues and He's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you got to get... Setting up an arm lock now. What a tight arm ball. Oh, he's out! He actually escaped. I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, McGregor's in half guard now. Oh, right to the mouth. Final seconds of round one. He's gotta start going now. Round two straight ahead. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. The only reason we lost is because you're waiting on me. I need you to be first. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's All it. right, let's get to round two. Nice straight right lands. Big power shot there. And Mago Medoff gets lit up by that straight punch. 
side to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, nice punch there by Nurmago Medov. Wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And how he lands early and he lands off. Beautiful block there. So unofficially 63 total strikes have now landed for Habib Nurmagomedov. And in terms of the accuracy rate, DC landing at a 59% clip thus far tonight against Conor McGregor. Look at the weapon. Look at how he uses his genes to the Body movement defensively slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away, but that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Just over three minutes now to go. Nurmago Menov's in half goal. All right, side control now, DC, you know he's in. Yeah, he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip so that he can get pressure to... Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Oh, I mean, this is, this is high level grappling by both of these guys. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Metz. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. Oh, McGregor's cut on his cheek is nasty. Leaky, leaky, that thing is leaking bad now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, McGregor's in half guard. Big ground and pound. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved, I would think. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Oh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see. Oh! Oh! All right, pausing the action here. And if you're the referee, you had to do it, right? The cut on the cheek, not in a terrible place, but a whole lot of blood coming down. And every time he gets hit, there's just blood flying out of that cut. It's a massive cut on the cheek and the swelling. They're starting to form on this guy's face. It's like nothing I've seen for a while. Doctor talking to the referee right now. And... All right, it looks as though the fight's going to continue. Fans will appreciate that decision, at least for now. They will. It's been a fun Ready. fight to this point. Let's see how he deals with this bad cut. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the school. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on the shield. And that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance, and as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like doctor stoppages, so they will throw. They start moving. And sometimes guys' eye is hanging on the side of his head. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, you can fall in love with those. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the love. Marco Menoff's trying to lock up on a submission now. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. And now he's got the back. 
Pass, All right, that's pass. the end of round number two. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. It's okay, we expected this type of fight. We trained for this. We're bloody. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are gonna be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never wanna be cut, you never wanna be bleeding, but if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still gotta do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. You ready to fight? You ready? Well, three of a possible five. McGregor gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I would be surprised if they stop the fight with that cut at some point. Oh. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here in Now he's going full mount. Got to be careful here. Changing the position. Big elbow. This is where he wants to be. Big right hook there by the champ. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Nermanko Manov's in half goal. Side control now. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by McGregor. He is in a lot of danger now. His opponent has beaten him. He's battered him. And now he is wearing it. There's a ton of blood on his face. a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches. Nermanko Medov is going for an arm here. Look at that, it's tight. Oh, now he bails on the submission. All these actions, though, these big actions gotta wear on the gas tank of both guys. That was a slick transition. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Mago Manoff's trying to get a triangle submission here. Got that submission locked up very tight. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. Yep, got to be very careful there. Keep moving those hips until you get your guard back. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. to the head there by Nermago Medov. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, McGregor's eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ring. He's gonna take off over here. Oh, it's getting deep. Getting tighter. This fighter here tonight called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party is going to be on fire.
He got to his position. He found the submission. He squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of round number three. To find the winner by tap out, and still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle Nagomeda. All right, you heard it there from Bruce Buffer, Habib Nagomeda, the winner by submission here tonight. This man is completely unstoppable, and he proved as much yet again tonight. Wow. He proved it again. You know, and as the career went longer, Habib did a better job of finishing people. It was not only just take him down anymore, it was take him down and submit him. We have seen him do it to the best fighters in the world, and once again, he proves when you're on the ground with the eagle, you're in trouble. And the question now beckons, is there a 155-pound fighter out there that can beat Habib Nurmagomedov?